Only bullfighting, mountain climbing, and auto racing are sports. The rest are merely games. Now that's a quote normally attributed to Ernest Hemingway, although I'm told it's really not his. It was designed to express the feelings of the day that because there was mortal component to these three endeavors, one could actually die, it was considered manlier or somehow that risk tolerance was a metric of the term sport. Now, I know little to nothing at all about mountain climbing or bullfighting, but I have been involved for 50 plus years in what some consider the purest form of auto racing, rally. For the uninitiated, rally is one car at a time on a closed public road as fast as it can go. There are no guardrails and no safety workers along the course, although they are in the neighborhood ready to, to respond. Cars with terrific safety equipment involved are routinely wrecked against trees, rocks, and over cliffs, mostly to be recounted at the bar the following evening. But once in a while, and I can't recall one since 2011, we, and I say we because the sport, at least in the U.S., is a family affair, we lose a competitor to a racing incident that's just too much for the car and or its occupants. Well, such an occurrence happened this past weekend at the New England Forest Rally. That runs up in Maine and New Hampshire. Car 909, TJ Pullen driving and his regular co-driver, Aaron Kelly, simply failed to negotiate the course. I can't discern exactly what happened or, or how it happened. That's, those details are usually left to the professionals on the scene, but however you shake it out, Aaron did not survive. Now, this is a very rare occurrence. Putting numbers together, I believe the sport has raced over a million racing miles since the last rally fatality. It's a terrific record, but it does nothing to reduce the sadness and grief the entire rally family is feeling this week. I've been strapping myself in cars and doing this my whole adult life, sometimes driving, but mostly co-driving, and I've been in at least five or six completely totaled rally cars. I can tell you that we all know that not surviving is a possibility. And it's also clear to our family and rally fraternity that we do it willingly, even eagerly. It's the sport we've chosen. Now, I didn't know Erin well. I knew she and TJ, her driver, were as seriously competitive and still fun-loving members of this family. They were joyfully doing what every one of us wants to do. And so, I believe, Erin went out on a high note, living her life exactly as she wanted, 100%, flat over crest. I hope to be as fortunate. It's Kim, and this is another moment of clarity.